So as you saw the other day, brand spanker, new glove, that is winter for you. Mark's already. Not good. We're talking about wrists and we're gonna look at the downswing, okay? And how we use them to shower the club and strengthen the face and what does this give us at impact? Because I'm a big believer in getting those hands ahead and those hands passive in the release or feeling passive. And I, as I've mentioned before, we use feelings. So what do the wrists want to do in the golf swing? Let's start at impact and work back through the back downswing to the top of the back swing, okay? So we're gonna work this in reverse. So, we're gonna to stand to this golf ball. We're gonna talk about the motions in which these wrists need to make. We'll do a little bit of body to start with. So body, hips open, right shoulder down. All I'm gonna leave you with that comment. We've got other videos on that if you wanna watch it. We need to feel the wrists, lead wrist makes this motion. So if I come to you now on the screen, makes this motion. So you can see here, if my target was just in this direction here, the lead wrist moves forwards, okay? The lead wrist moves forwards. This gets the hands ahead, but keeps the face square. If I just put my hands ahead, look how the face would open. That's not what we want. We're standing in this now, the wrists, we want to do this motion. Add in the body, this is the motion we want to create. Okay, so if we know we want to get there, how do we get to there? So many golfers, I'm gonna lose the club now, and I want you to do this with me, so if you're watching this at home, lose your club right now, and stand over this, put the iPad or computer down the side, close the curtains, <laughs> and start doing this. So we know those wrists want to be ahead, so how do we get there? We're gonna take it, imagine we're gonna start in this position with the hands ahead, imagine we've hit the ball, and we've come through, we're coming back to impact, hips are open, hips come back to square, we take it back here, Okay, well look at this now. If we work everything back in reverse, the lead wrist has made that little bit of a bowing motion forwards, move it all back. Okay, so we started with it flat and we kept it flat. We didn't start with it flat and cup it into the golf ball. You can see what differences that would give us as an impact. That would increase the dynamic loft, so the loft the club has an impact. That would potentially open the face as well and give us those two factors of a higher ball flight, slightly weaker ball flight, and a ball that doesn't travel as far, and potentially one that's off to the right. Now grab a golf club and do the same thing. We're gonna imagine we've hit that ball away, we're gonna pose that finish, we're gonna come back down to what would be impact, okay? Back weight centrally, move it all the way back through the back downswing to the top of your backswing. Okay, so you can really notice here what motion I have to get to to come in with this flat wrist. So we're gonna go into this a little bit more detail now because I think it's really good to work it backwards because you can get a feeling of where you've come from or what your desired area is where you want to be and work this whole story backwards. We sometimes focus too much on this when actually, well I want to be here, how do I get here? Right, this is the journey I had to take. I had to be flat at the top, I had to keep it flat all the way down. This is how you're gonna keep it flat all the way down. Shower that club, strengthen that face, everything you need to know. So you know that feeling where you feel comfortable in your game, I think this is gonna give you more chances of doing that. So I mentioned before, we don't wanna see that golfer that starts it flat, club works over, wrists work, cupped into the golf ball. This adds loft to our golf club. We're talking about how we achieve that de-lofting of the golf club, more compression. This is what it's gonna give you. And by the way, the motions will be very similar between irons and driver. So I wanna to talk to you about this now. We're gonna feel as though we start our downs and we've got these elements. We've got this, okay? We've got thumbs back, okay? And we've got knuckles over, okay? So we're gonna count this as shallowing the shaft. I'm gonna count this as strengthening the face. Let's work these both together now by shallow and strengthen. So this is the motion we want to make with the wrists. I'm keeping this angle in my right wrist, I'm keeping the angle in the left wrist, I'm not throwing it away. I'm allowing that face to maintain itself being square as this club works shallower. It's what you've got to understand is as this shaft shallows, we orientate this face a little bit. What feels potentially to a lot of golfers is closed, but it's not. We're keeping it square to allow us to rotate into the golf ball and allow the rotation to do our release. So let's talk you through those motions again. We've got thumbs over, knuckles over, bring it all together. 
it's imagine the way I can describe it, it's like we're wringing a towel, wringing a towel out. This really gives you a great feeling for shallowing and strengthening the face in the downswing. So let's hit some shots now. I would really bring this into your game. Ring it, ring it, down. Okay, that's where I want to be at impact. I've achieved this now. And just do some slowly. Ring it, ring it, ring it, hit it away. Don't worry about where the ball goes to start with. It's a brand new feeling for you. Go a little bit faster. Get the feeling of ringing it. until you start to get really comfortable with it. Now, one caveat I would say with this, please don't stand there on the golf course actively feeling this. Build it into your pre-shot routine and trust that your golf swing is gonna improve that 1%. So we don't want it to be a conscious thought on the course. Yeah, potentially a conscious thought on the practice range or on your mat, but as you get into course mode, lose that thought. Ask yourself a question right now. You practice or you go to the driving range to make your swing more automatic and build improvements into your swing that become automatic. So we don't have to think about it out on the golf course. Remember that, use this move and you really will start to feel like we've got these hands ahead, these hands more passive and that feeling of that crunch in your strike. Thanks for joining me. Really hope you enjoyed that video. I absolutely love talking about this because I think it can make a real difference to slicers, people who scoop the ball, and it gets you firing on all cylinders.